Over here in Vietnam, they eat some freaky foods. I'm going to be straight out with you. Back in the days, Vietnam was a French colony. So they got some freaky French foods like snails and frogs. And we're going to test that out today. They've even got some more freaky stuff, right? They're eating bugs and worms and scorpions and weird parts of animals. And anyway, it's each to their own. But old Spaniels is here to suss them out. So today's journey, we're going to fly around Saigon eating all the exotic foods, eh? Let's go. All right, we're starting today. Before we get into this freaky, scary foods, I've come to District 2. This is supposed to be their rich, modern, young area. There's a place here anyway that um, is called Runem, and it's famous in uh, Ho Chi Minh for making egg coffee. Egg coffee is uh, a thing that they have here in Vietnam. Like I said, we're not starting too exotic and I need a coffee. I just woke up and I'm still sleepy, right? <laughs> to be honest, I didn't think that we'd be seeing um, Lamborghini here in um, Ho Chi Minh. Maybe the one and only. Let's go. Egg coffee, yeah. Yeah. egg coffee, and uh, is it called Cafe Fin, the uh, traditional coffee? Yeah, one of each. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So I got the obviously I got the egg coffee, but I got um, one of the traditional coffees. It's like a I don't know how they do it. We'll see. We'll learn together. <laughs> but I got I want to I want to I want to get one of each. You know, it's hot already. It's hot already. 8.15 in the morning, <laughs> I'm already dying. But like I said, I need a coffee. That's the egg coffee? Yeah, I Beautiful. Oh right, man. Yeah, nice. And this is the Vietnamese black coffee. Alright, beautiful. Thank you, eh? I reckon we start on the egg coffee lad. Start on the eggness. The tan tan eggness. Woo! It smells like a I know there's a biscuit here, right? But it's not that. Look, I'll move it over here. It smells like a biscuit. It smells like a biscuit. Caramelized sugar around the edge. Wow, cars, like the top of a creme brulee. Caramelized, like, you know, roasted sugar. Get this leaf out of it, all right? Let's go. Oh, 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 oh lad. Lad, my damn. Bro, that tastes hectic. Oh, that's gone, bro. It's sort of, it's super sweet. Super sweet. Tastes like it's got like four sugars in it. Coffee taste, but it tastes like a biscuit. It tastes like a shortbread cookie. That's what it tastes like. It does have an eggy flavor. You can taste the egg in it. That sort of eggy flavor that you get in like a pancake base, right? Like, but it tastes like, honestly, it legit tastes like a shortbread biscuit. Mmm. But I haven't got to the coffee yet. Maybe I've got to mix it. Because I notice as I'm sipping it, all I'm getting is the green foam. And then the coffee's down here. So I think actually I've got to mix it. Maybe that's why it tasted so nice. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just drinking all the, the, um, the flavors at the top and getting no coffee. Let's mix it up now. They're probably looking at me like, you don't mix it, you bloody foreigner. <laughs> I don't care, but I'll do what I want. I mix it. All right, there we go. Oh, lad, 
It tastes even better now. <laughs> now it actually tastes like a coffee. You're supposed to mix it. That is hectic. That is done. The consistency is not of egg at all. I was a bit worried what they were exactly doing and, and um, is there like a floating omelet in it? There's not, there's not. I think that so uh, they're just using some egg white frothed up and to thicken it sort of. That is so mad. That is so good. We need these. We need these back home. Oh wow, what a coffee cuz. Wow. Vietnamese egg coffee. That's hectic. I don't know what's going on with this contraption now. Let's toss this here. This looks lethal. This looks like the other end of the spectrum, right? When it's just full lethal. So like I showed, like I showed you, it's like um, you are coffee up here, coffee ground. It's dripping down, it stopped dripping. So let me get rid of that. So it's filtered through to this cup and you gotta pour it over the ice to cool it down. So it's like a straight drip coffee shop. They give you a sugar. I might not use it though. At the end of the day, no matter if I put sugar, it's not gonna top this. Well, well, I'm stealing you. I'm taking you home. Oh, and the sugar like hangs around your mouth and you gotta get it off with your tongue. It's like an enjoyable little video game. <laughs> All right. Super Vietnamese death coffee with ice. What they call it. Traditional cafe thing. That's how we Ooh, it's way smoother and way more mild than I thought. When you seen that, did you think this is gonna bomb him? I thought that too. Way smoother. That's nice. That's enjoyable. Don't get me wrong. After that, I probably should have had it the other way. Really, thinking back, I should have started with this and then had that and then been like, oh. But I can still think with an unbiased opinion that this is actually nice, smooth, tastes like a black coffee, like it should. I'm not saying it tastes like a can of Coke, but mm. nice, ice cold, makes sense, the Vietnamese weather. I couldn't, I don't even know what winter's like here. Is there a winter? We're on the equator, aren't we? There's no winter. But yeah, I couldn't imagine drinking hot coffees too often. And I can see how this is their Cafe Fin traditional coffee. It's nice, it's nice. Beautiful, I'm up, I'm ready. Energize. Let's oge, cuz. I'm two coffees and 18 shots deep. I don't know how much was in it. Let's go, let's begin this. I'm right in the middle of District 1 now. So smack bang in the middle of the city. See behind me, that's their town hall. There's a statue of Ho Chi Minh himself. The old Ho Chi Minh, there he is. Almighty that came down and changed the name. It used to be Saigon, he walked up, he said, you're naming it after me now, mate. I'm the man around here. That's the statue of him. This area is like, look, you see, it's like designer shopping. This is like Cartier across the road. See it over there? Let's go over here, have a look. Anji Gaze, coppers behind me, that's their police. This is the district cars. That's actually a mad shot. Look down there. I asked my guide, is there a, is there a lot of like wealthy people here? Like do people, wear Cartier and Louis Vuitton and this and that. He said there's not a lot and the contrast between the rich and the poor is massive. There's a whole lot of really, really poor people and then this tiny amount of like super millionaires and billionaires. And that's who shop here, bro. I wonder if they got a Gantt store. <laughs> The contrast in the quality of the buildings, I've never seen before. Like I've been to places that are like mad buildings, Paris, then places that have like old dilapidated buildings, Lisbon, but not places where there's gun buildings and right next to it is like <laughs> war zone buildings. Let me, let me show you this. So look at this building. Look at this right next to it. This extremely dilapidated building is fully occupied with businesses. It's mad. There's a sign on every balcony. Hello. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 
clean my shoes. How much is this? How much is this? You better tell me before you start cleaning my shoes how much it is. Well then apparently it doesn't cost anything because I asked how much is it? And then I want to answer cuz. She's taking my shoes off. She's just taking my shoes straight off me. <laughs> Gave me thongs and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> my foot's double the thong. Nah, 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 I don't smoke, but look, they were trying to sell me stuff. So she's rocked up with that. Look, matey's rocked up with this. They've brought a retail store right to me. <laughs> no, thank you. I don't want sunglasses. What's that? Does it work? Doesn't work. Oh, okay, it works, yeah. Okay. I put on my beard, he's spun out because he thought it was going to catch my beard on fire. <laughs> um, 320 is to the... No, nah, not 300. How much? 200. 300 is too deep. I don't want a lighter. I honestly don't want a lighter. No, I don't want 250,000. Okay, okay. 200,000. Okay. I don't even smoke. I don't okay. smoke. Okay. 200. I don't need 200,000. Okay. No, I don't want sunglasses. You're going too far now. No, no, nah, nah, I don't wear sunglasses. Never. No, 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 thank you. No, thank you. I don't want that. I don't want that. I honestly don't want that. No, no, no. I don't want glasses. Wow. Wow. Yeah, heads up myself. Heads up, Look at the glasses. Yeah. Where you from? Oh, yeah, the yeah, shoes are going here. good. Yeah. They're good. Yeah. They're good. Long one. Show me the Oakley. Yeah. The mirror. Yeah, they're all right. What are these? 100. No. Your brother, you said 100 before. This is not a good one. No, no, no. Already. This is the same as this. No, yeah, no same. No, and sorry, very expensive. And 450. No, yeah. <laughs> He's trying to say 450, oh, okay. lad. Oh, okay. He's trying to say 450. 150. Yeah. I'll get these for 150. Nah. Hey, he's trying to uh, give me verbals, look. They're trying to give me verbals. I'm good looking, big muscles, this and that. Trying to get extra ash cape. Oh no, lad. Remember the secret agreement, I'd like. <laughs> he's putting inserts and everything. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Hey, good brother. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. All right. No, no, inside. Nah. No, no, inside one hundred. No, no, no. Fifty extra there. You said four fifty. Look, look. Okay, okay. You said four fifty. Okay, okay. I give you five hundred. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Let's go. Glasses, new shoes, and a lighter. That's what happens when you get snatched off the street. So if they come at you with a toothbrush on your shoe, expect to walk away with um a whole convenience store. Nah, that was mad. That was gone. All right. Let's leave. This is District 1, the middle. Middle of District 1. All right, we're at the first place. We're in District 1 still. This place across the road is like, they serve goat everything, everything. So the first on the line of exotic food is goat penis and goat testicles. <laughs> My guide said we'll get a bit of goat breast, something normal. I don't know what they serve it in. I think it's a soup. Goat testicle, goat penis soup. I'm not looking forward to this. Have you ever eaten penis? Of course not. No, I can never say that again. It's actually pretty cool in here compared to out there. Like a big dark warehouse. It's mad in here, actually. Hello. That's my guide ordering it. The menu's not in English, so I can't show you. Oh, sit this way. Better lighting. All right, I lied. It's starting to get pretty hot in here. <laughs> I think because the fire's going right next to me. My guide just came out and told me that 
We're having goat brain served as a dish. The penis and the testicles come out in a hot pot, so it's like a soup. And then the goat's breast is gonna be done on the grill over there. What's that? Number one. Oh, the, yeah, yeah, all right. That's the brain. That's the brain. I know 100% that's the brain. Look, I reckon we just like, I reckon we chuck a little chili on him. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. He's telling me what to do, how to prepare it. All right, little chili on it, little lemos, a bit of, bit of lemon on him. I don't know what this is, but he told me to, that brand, like some brown sauce, he told me to put it back on. Ah, oh, fish sauce, great fish sauce. Here we go, bro. Oh, look inside. It's all white inside. It was like mushy as I'm. <laughs> Let's go. All right. All right. It's like it's as soft as as like soggy wheat bix. It is so soft. It tastes like. You know really old meat, like mutton? Do you know that taste? Just really old mutton. That's what it tastes like. A bit more of it. It's just 100% smooth, like cream. Like, I'm actually happy about that. You know, if I was like chewing through it and there was like little sand or little gristly bits or little hard bits, I'd be like, ah, like that, but it's not. It's just, Smooth butter, old meat tasting. It's not that bad. You can cop it. Would you eat? Would I eat it? Clearly, I would, because here I am, mate. All you gotta do is give me a YouTube show, and I'm down to eat anything. This is nothing. I'm about to eat penis and balls, buzz. What is that? All right. Bring on the penis. Bring on the balls. Come on. Let's go. Come on. They bring us some noodles in the meantime. I think all of that goes in the hot pot that's coming up. They've just bring out the stuff over here. So that's the two balls. Look at it. Nah. Look. Oh, bruh. Why did I touch it? That just made it so much worse. Look at the little penis. Look. That's the foreskin. Yuck. And they're, they're just organs, that's a tail. At this point, I don't even care if you've got the organs, hearts and livers, they eight. Look at her. Two massive balls and a tiny little foreskin. It's going in the soup, no. Ugh. Okay. Cool. Number one. Oh. Wow, that's just straight, like, butane. <laughs> oh, that's one. Oh. Oh my God, look at that. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> That's the two nuts. Nice. You separated the two nuts. Oh, look how long the inside of the anus pie is. Oh, he's gonna slice the nut apart. Oh my god. Oh. The nut fell out. The scrotum is he's cutting the scrotum. The ball went flying. <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually not gonna know. By the time it's sliced up, put in the hot pot and cook. I'm not even gonna know which bit's which. I think if it's big and flat, it's one of the slices of the, the nuts. If it's like long, skinny, and like it was the inside of the penis. But the worst thing is he, he even sliced up the outer, the skin, and the foreskin is in there. That's the worst part. I don't care, like, I do care, but I don't care so much about the inside that goes up, you know? Fine. One, let go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it's a hot pot for about 10 minutes. Wow. Alright. He come and said it's been about 10 minutes. And there he is. Ready to go. Let me serve up some of this. 
see these? That's penis. Oh, what the hell? That's a mushroom. <laughs> a mushroom. Let's just get a scoop and I'll figure it out. Oh, there's the... Oh, I don't know what's what, bro. I honestly don't know what's what. Oh, the grilled breast. Beautiful. All right, the grilled breast. The nice thing came as I'm about to eat this. Bit of ball juice. Bit of ball juice to soften the blow. <laughs> I'll dress it up. I'll dress it up. Yeah, I'll put that in it. Make it not seem as harsh. <laughs> Bit of lemon, bit of lime in it. I don't know, oh! I can see, I can see straight away. That's the part, that's the part that I hated the most. That's the foreskin, that's the outside of the penis. Bruh. Dark. Sorry, let me try that again. It's so tough, I didn't expect that. Oh, it's, it's hard. There's a bone in the middle. No. Oh, that's a piece of the tail. <laughs> All right, that's, I'm playing mind games. That's a piece of the tail. I can fight it now. What does it taste like? Trash, it tastes like trash. What am I doing, bro? Far out. All right, oh. I don't even know what things are anymore. Oh, it's like rubbery skin and there's hard bits in there and it tastes like pig water with salt. Come on, yeah. All right, that's enough of that stupid thing, whatever the hell. I don't know what's what. All right. I have found the penis. No, that is 100% the penis. That's 100% the penis. Oh, oh no, that's the end of the penis. All right, confirmed. Here we are. This is why we're here. Stop it. It's hard. I expected it to be soft. Yuck. It's like, I can't even explain to you how, how firm it is. Oh, I can't do that. Oh. Nah, 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 cuz what is that? Dark. Oh. It's like, I don't even know how to explain that. Just putridness, it's stupid. I'm not eating that. Mate, the penis is not getting eaten. This is, this is not. I think I ate a bit like this before. I'm dipping it in this. All right, that's a lot better than the penis. You're starving to death? You make a soup out of that? Okay, yeah, if you need a protein, okay, that was coppable. What did it taste like? It was like firm, rubbery. It tastes like mince water. It tastes like nothing, salty mince water. But it was soft enough that it's chewable and edible. What is this? Heart, all right. I don't care, I don't, I'm eat soup heart now. After that, a man and a heart, we're best friends. Goat's heart, all day load. I'll crush it up and Snort it, cause me and goat's heart. Very easy. Oh, the heart's actually all right. That's a, it's, that has a flavor. It tastes like steak. Mm. It tastes and feels like steak. It's not fibrous like steak. It's smooth, but the consistency, the the firmness, and the taste is very comparable to straight out like a like a pub steak. That was all right. I don't mind that. That's a kidney. Kidneys are sus. Kidneys, I don't know. Like I said, I started out with the penis, so... Yuck. Yuck. That was no heart. The heart was nice. That is the worst tasting thing by far. Yuck. That tasted like, you know, like, just... That tasted like smelly animal. That was putrid. What was the worst out of all of that? I mean, brains, tail, penis, balls, kidney and heart. The penis was the worst by far. The best was the heart. Oh, now we just finish off with old grilled breasts. Like, have a look at this. Well, we're five star now, mate. 
Nej, vores er mm, yum. That's hectic. It's like a peanut-based mayo, sort of, with chili oil in it. Your breast is all right. Exactly what you think it is. Yum. Well, that's this place. The next place we're going, frogs. Because you probably know, Vietnam was a French colony for a long time. That's it. That's why they got baguettes. That's why the barmaids are on baguettes. Part of that is eating frogs, just like the French do. I've never eaten frog before. First time I'm gonna eat it is in Vietnam. Let's go. Here we are in front of this seafood restaurant down here. At this place, they serve frogs. Like I said before, because of the French colonization, they serve snails along the same story. They've got turtle here. You can eat turtle here. Didn't know eating turtle was a thing. Maybe like an indigenous Australian thing. Yeah, I know, but anyway. So I guess I'm eating turtle too. No way. Uh, my little sister's gonna be spewing. She loves turtles. Sorry, but I have to do it, sis. I legit don't want to do that, eh? What are they? Dark and geo dark. That's bugs. Bugs? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Giant isopod. Yeah. These things sleep on their back. They're alive. I thought they were dead. Oh. Bugs, like a Morton Bay bug. I thought, I thought they were dead. <laughs> they just sleep on their back like that. Poor fella. Rest in peace, turtle. That's the frogs, man. Well, that's the frogs. Just kick them back in the container. Like, pick me, pick me. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, they bring something out. They just bring out fried frog. Oh yeah, there's a frog leg. Fried frog legs, deep fried lemongrass over the top of it. Oh yum, deep fried lemongrass is cracker. But we eat for the frog legs, aren't we? There we go. It's like KFC. They've done it like KFC. It's nice. Well, frog legs. That's huge. You're waiting for me to say it tastes like chicken, aren't you? You know what? It's somewhere halfway between chicken and fish. But because it's prepared like KFC, it tastes like KFC. Oh, that's mad. That's like a salt and pepper uh, with, with lime and uh, chili fish sauce. Well, wow, these are hectic. The frog legs are gone. Yeah, <laughs> the frog legs are hectic. Yum, with the salt and pepper's hectic. Yum! It's better than KFC. Yum! First time I ever had frog legs, heck boss. I can understand why the French pump frogs. What else have we got here? Whoa, what's this one? Garlic finger snails. Look! That's sus. Look at their little mouths. Look at their hairy little mouths. Wow, that's sketch. Oh no, look underneath. Oh, it just dripped out juice. Look. Oh, what the hell? If you squeeze it, slime comes out. Look. Oh, I'm milking it. Oh, I'm milking some like goo out of it. That's full Utrecht, lad. I'm not biting that end. I'm not biting that end. Look at that. Oh, yuck. That's where all the guts and stuff are. I'm biting the back of it. All right, the back of it's normal. When I look through it, I can see that the black stuff starts about there. I'm not eating that. I'm gonna eat the back bit, but... It's like sweet calamari. It's not nice. Oh, there, look. I ripped this off. I ripped off like the art gaze and that. And I found a little anus inside of it. Hey, hey. 
They're putrid. There's no way in the world I'm eating its face. No way. It's got little feelers, look at it. There's no way in the world I'm eating its face. That's chat, garlic fingernails. Get them away from me, bro. What is that? What's next? Oh, no. No. Salted egg snails. Wow. Look at these cards. Comes with a baguette, like it's a snack. It's burning hot. See? Oh, I just full ate one, lad, like that. I just full ate a snail. I didn't think that would be so easy. That was all right, cuz. That was all right. It tastes like butter. It tastes like this orange sauce here is just straight butter. They're nice, cuz. Salted egg snails. I don't taste the salt. I don't taste the egg. Maybe it's called an egg snail and there's not egg in it. <laughs> I don't taste the salt. It tastes like buttered snails. It's nice. It's um, like calamari rings in little sections put into a butter sauce. A really strong, thick butter sauce. And it's burning hot. My fingers are burning. They're not bad, cuz. They're not bad. Garlic fried mantis prawns. They're mad. But these are giant prawns, cuz. Oh. To add to the exoticness, every time I squeeze something, it shoots out some weird juice. Did you see that? <laughs> Done it again. That's a big prawn, cuz. Look at that. Oh, yum. 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 That's better than normal prawn. Yeah. That's lovely. That's giant, giant prawns are lovely. That's a mad dish. Fried garlic flavor. That prawn was juicy, fresh as obviously. It was alive 47 seconds ago. It was looking at me. It was swearing at me. This had to be done. I'm not gonna lie, the seafood here is hectic. I see something scary. Aliens versus predator. The mothership has arrived. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, sad. Bro, what is that? How do you even eat this? How do I eat you? What is that, cuz? That is fay on him. Cuz, what is that? I'm scared to touch it. What the hell? Oh. Look at your little mouth. That's ultra dry. They're cutting up the, the, the alien. Alright, he sliced it all open and I'm eating all this part now. He said, take a spoon and scoop all the inside out. The whole thing wobbles, look when you tap tap it. This looks so chat, lad. Oh, it's like clear jelly inside. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. That just got so much worse. I thought it'd be like a really ugly crab, you know? It's like goo inside. That's putrid, lad. That's a legit mess of an animal. What is that? It's got, I swear these are eggs. Look, they're eggs, cuz. But this thing was big too. For Vietnam, this was like a hundred and something Australian dollars. It looks like an egg sack. It looks like a hard white thing. And then there's jelly there. Oh, lad, I can't eat that. It's like fish flavored snot. That's what that was like. With hard things in it, I guess. It's full chat. That's so chat, bro. It's so bad. There's a little part here, it's like white. It looks like flesh. It feels yuck. Yuck! Yuck! You can't, you're not supposed to eat that. When you break it open, it looks like murder. That's the worst out of this place. That's the worst thing by far. So I heard a little deaf bug is, is so expensive because it's rare. It's hard to breed because they, they live right at the bottom of the ocean. They're like prehistoric ocean floor dwellers. Hence the price. I think all we got left is the, um, the turtle. The fried tortoise is here. It's sort of like, you know how they do like salt and pepper squid and they put that coating on the outside? It's sort of like that. So you can't actually see what the pieces are, but look, I can tell that shell. 
that shell right there. Let's scratch away. Yeah, look, turtle shell. Does the shell have meat under it? It does. They're burning hot. Oh, lad. It's like green or gray inside. Look. Oh, no. Oh, here's a big piece of flesh. It's like glue. Look. What is that? This is so stupid. It's like jelly attached to the shell. But the whole thing's jelly. It's like big clumps of jelly with sort of membranes to them attached to a hard shell. Covered in salt and pepper batter like the squid. It's so bad. There's a piece that looks like it's got a little bit of meat. Look at that. It tastes like chicken. The little tiny bits of meat that aren't attached to the black jelly. Tastes like chicken. 100% like chicken. I don't know what else to say. It's not nice. Imagine trying to navigate chicken through membranes and slime and shell. Just eat a chicken. Like, what's harder to get, a chicken or a turtle? Stop it. This place that sells bugs, crickets, scorpions, this and that. Since COVID, um, they've only been doing them like delivered. In Saigon, if you want bugs, it's Uber Eats only. So we're waiting here. Uber Eats lad's gonna drop them off and we're gonna go back into a lane, old Anyos style. I'm gonna head down a lane and just smash some bugs, eh? <laughs> so we kick them back here waiting for Uber to come. All right, change of plan. I'm gonna jump back in the car, our driver, and uh, go back to the motel, District 1. We're in District 10 now, by the way. So we're gonna get our car back to the motel, District 1, and we're gonna get the bugs delivered there. I don't wanna wait here no more. Had enough of it. Had enough of that place. Back at the front of the motel. The bugs are here already, they reckon. They were here waiting for me. They were singing my name. I heard them two corners away. He's got that bugs, got them. They got them? They're here. All sorts of bugs. <laughs> We're gonna find a little posse, an alleyway, he reckons. Go on, where are you from? Okay, huh? Yeah, where? Wagga Wagga. Wagga Wagga. Yeah. yeah, mad, bruh. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Have a go at me. Just walking around with a bag of bugs. <laughs> Casually, just cruising through the streets of Saigon in the rain with me bugs. So I come with my bag of bugs to the restaurant that sells the worms. We're getting the worms. We got the bugs. This is the piece de resistance, the big final. Can he, will he eat these things? Everything up until now has, has been child's play. Worms, scorpions, well, what do we got here? Oh no, what's that? That's the scorpion? No, I can see it already. Look how many there are. Don't worry about the sauces. Look how many there are. Wow, cars. Oh my God, let me knock the dust off them. No. Oh, what? Lads. How do I eat you? It's got a stinger on there and all. What part of it do I eat? What is that? Bro, it moved. Get it away from me. It moved. It moved. It didn't move, did it? Bro, I swear to God it moved. I went to bite it and it pulled its claw away from me. <laughs> I thought it moved. I thought it moved. I thought I was gonna get attacked. I feel like I'm gonna get stung just grabbing it. Cuz I don't know what to bite, lad. I'm not eating that. I'm not eating that. No, I'm not eating that. Bro, it's like a cockroach, cuz. I'm not eating that. I'm not eating that, cuz. There's no way I'm eating that. What did, what part of it do you even buy? 
It's rock hard cards. I beat a bit of it. I beat its legs. Yuck, yuck. Cuz, that was like, I felt like I was eating a cockroach. Burnt chicken skin, that's what it tasted like. What am I eating next? Crickets, cuz. The mini crickets? Crickets. The large crickets. Oh no, all right, mini crickets. Start off with mini crickets. I can cop mini crickets. All right, here we go. Little crickets. They taste all right. They taste weird. It tastes like popcorn. It tastes like flavored popcorn, it's weird. They taste all right, crickets are all right. Bah, what about that big cricket? Crickets, cuz. That was all right. It's so hard to explain what it tastes like. Uh, that cricket was like extra chewy. That was honey soy cricket. That was nice. It's so huge honey soy crickets. Um, honeycomb. Honeycomb with the animals inside. It's got the eggs in it. It's got the little larvae in it. That's not edible. You don't need that. A burnt piece of honeycomb with little lava in it. I feel like they're setting me up, bro. I feel like this is something Vietnamese people don't even eat. Come on. What are you talking about? The maggots in there. See that one maggot? I'm gonna eat it. Right? I'll eat that. <laughs> Why did I just do Oh, God. what am I doing? What am I doing? Someone just stole a nest, put it on a barbecue with the maggots inside and I just suck one out and ate it. What am I doing? That's no good. I'm not doing that again. That was f***ed up. <laughs> what? Guys, what do you mean? They've got guts coming out of them. They look safer. Let's not do these worms. They're yuck. They got faces and everything. Look at this. What is that? What is this? Worms. They're like rock hard. That's all right, guys. It's like charcoal chicken. Cuz it tastes like charcoal chicken. Yeah! The old worms, lad. It's my favorite thing of the night. Hey, come here. I'm dropping worms now. Guys, they're not bad. It's weird. It's like most of these things taste like popcorn, cuz. They're not bad. What are you, what's, what's the law? The, oh, there's no, get the out of here bro there's no way in the world there's no way in the world that's getting eaten there is no way in the world there's a live ones bro i thought that was it he just showed me a bowl of dead set big ass worms swimming around in fish sauce there's no way in the world cuz there's no way in the world i don't even want to touch that i don't even want to i'm not even touching this I am not even gonna get that out and put it in my hand, let alone my mouth. There is no way in the world I'm eating that. There is no way in the world. Not for any YouTube show, not for any channel, not for any TV show, not for a movie, not for you, not for me. That's not happening. People eat this, right? I'm just here, I'm just a reporter. I'm just reporting on the news. Here in Saigon, this is purchasable. There is no way in the world I'm eating that. There's no way. Cause no way. That's me, I'm done. <laughs> That's me. I've eaten, how many cracked things I've ate today? Penis, 
balls, heart, dirty crabs from the bottom of the ocean, snails, frogs, worms, scorpion legs, crickets. There is no way in the world I am eating a dirty, juicy, wiggling, whatever that is. That's the fattest worm I've ever seen in my life. No way. I wouldn't eat that worm if it was cooked. If they barbecued that worm and they put barbecue chili sauce and put it on a kebab, I still wouldn't eat it. There's no way. I wouldn't even touch that. I'm off, that's me. I'm going home, I'm going to the motel. I'm going home, I'm jumping on a plane. I've had enough. Nah, I'm going to the motel, I'm going to sleep. That's it, laters. My guide is gonna eat one. <laughs> My tour guide's gonna eat one, he's taking a bullet. Come on, bruh. No way. It's got like a claw, so it might bite. Yeah, what the hell would it bite you? You gonna eat that wiggling one? Lad, it'll try. Oh, lad, hold it out in your hand. Oh, what the hell, it bites you. It's trying to bite him. Cuz, what the hell? It was trying to bite him, it had little fangs. Ready? Yeah. You're a soldier, lad. No way. Oh my god. It's mouth still moving. What's it like? It's like jelly. Like jelly? Yeah. Bruh. Can you taste the coconut? <laughs> <laughs> like, like savory coconut. Savory coconut jelly. It's still, it's still moving. It's, yeah, it's still trying to bite him, look. The mouth is still trying to bite him. <laughs> is it? No way. Oh, there you go, rah. It's a big fat ass coconut worm. Guess it tastes like a savory <laughs> coconut flavored jelly. That's it, bruh. Someone done it. That's us. That's us.